Yo, what's good with y'all? It's your boy Zay, back with another tutorial. Now I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make samples for artists like Real Boston Richie. Kind of like his album that he just dropped. That being said, if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Let's try to get 30 likes. All right, so first off, I'm gonna let y'all hear the sample. I didn't really know where I was going with this sample. What I did was pull up the cinematic LA Custom C7 preset in Keyscape. I dropped the reverb to zero. The EQ, it should be on strong, but for some reason the FOP just reset it. And then all I did was just lay down these bass notes right here. crazy all i did was start in the b minor scale i went to the i just put the bass note on the root then i did it up one to be in a phrygian dominant scale basically it's just grabbing the one and now two after that i decided to open analog lab i pulled out the cold flames preset and then i laid down this simple melody right here This is just the first and the fifth of the B minor chord. And then I knew that bringing up this up one semitone would give it tension. So it's just playing off a little melody of the B minor chord using the one fifth and then going up to the sixth. And right here, having it go to the second. And then after I had this little simple melody, uh, I copy and pasted it and just put it up an octave. Now the mix, the mix is why it sounds like that. Before I break down the mixer track, I just want to show y'all what it sounded like before the effects. And then after. So to begin with, what I did was just add a halftime. And then I dropped it to 50%, kept everything else the same. Then I opened up a shaper box and pulled out this volume chain right here it's just a simple side chain and then i turned down the mix and then the time knob and just put out this little stutter and lastly all i put on was a reverb dropping the mix to 31 percent low cut 380 then i went into analog lab again and pulled out the phase preset and then all i do is just copy and paste the original melody into this one and this is what it sounds like And then for the mix, all I did was just EQ a little bit of the low mids and then put a reverb of 50% and a 480 hertz cut. Then I went into analog lab again and pulled out this Marco lens key. The majority of the sample is just simple layering and effects. That's really all it is. This is what it sounds like. I'm gonna show you all the before and after. So this is before. When I heard it, I knew exactly what I wanted. So what I did was go into halftime and I left it all the same, except all I did was change this FX knob. And then I went into portal and pulled out this particle patterns preset and lowered the mix almost a little bit halfway. I'd say like 60%. And then this is what it sounds like. Then I went into analog lab again and pulled out the frostbite preset. All this is is just the root note layered along with the G and the F sharp note. And the reason why is because of the tension again. Then after I had this, I decided to just put a little bit of accents. And so then I put the F sharp and the C sharp. And then for this, I didn't do no EQing or nothing. All I did was just put a tremulator just to have the little like wave effect, the wah, wah, wah. Then I went into SRX Orchestra, which I love using, by the way. I think it's just a fire string or orchestral VST. Um, all I did was just use the default preset.
all i wanted was just a little top line nothing crazy just something that some ear candy basically what i did was just put a bahala vintage rib lower in the mix 24 and then the low cut up to 610 i just decided that i wanted to add some more accents some more ear candy so what i did was go into this bell right here and layer this you know that bell that we all heard then i went into omnisphere and laid down this piano which is just a cinematic preset again with the denoise that should be on strong and the reverb turned down to zero and then what i did was just play in the high octaves of the melody let's lay this down All I did was EQ out the mids, added a fruity delay with the cut turned down so it didn't echo as much. I put the delay up to 8 on the time because I wanted it to last. I wanted the delay to hit a little bit later. I didn't want it to be like a fast delay. And then I put a Valhalla Vintage Verb, just left it alone. Actually, no, I put the Thousand Cut. Then I went into Omnisphere again and pulled out the Growler Moog Bass, my favorite sub bass. And then what I did was just layer it down with the bass notes originally however i added these slides right here just to give it a little bit of something different i didn't want it to be too repetitive and this is what it sounds like after that i knew i was finished except i just wanted to add something more just to really fill in the sample so what i did was go on a splice and i found this flute and this is what it sounds like by itself. For the effects for that, all I did was just put an EQ, lowering a lot of the highs because um, it had a lot of white noise. Then I went into NS1 Stereo and pulled out and put it to around 80, again for the white noise. And then all I did was just put a reverb on it, lowering the mix, and then putting the low cut up to 320. And yeah, all together you have this. And yeah, that's how I make samples for artists like Real Boss and Richie. If y'all did enjoy it, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. Like I said, let's try to hit 30 likes on this video. I have a multi-kit on the way and a loop kit on the way. And with that being said, I'm out.